Generations ago, a mysterious race of aliens known as the Occupants appeared on Earth, bringing a disease that wiped out all of humanity, save one young woman who was mysteriously immune. All that remain are clones of that woman, who worship her as a divine being and accept the roles that she assigns to them. Watcher has a special role, the gift of communion, entering their mother's memories to keep the past alive. But on her first communion, one of her clone sisters interferes, telling Watcher that everything they know is a lie. So begins a journey to unravel the past, understand the nature of the world, and perhaps defeat the occupants for good. 1000X Resist is a pure narrative game. The mechanics switch up a bit, but in general, the game entails solving puzzles using Watcher's communion ability to shift time back and forth. Occasionally, the game throws in an action segment with pseudo-platforming sections that have Watcher flinging herself between nodes to reach distant areas. Since 1000X Resist is so heavily focused on its story, it's worth spending a little more time on that. The narrative unfolds in a non-linear manner, jumping back and forth between several time periods, both past and future. The story is complex, with many plot points merely inferred, such that the player needs to glean the facts from context clues or interpret events based on individual understanding. It's not the easiest story to follow, but it's also one of the better science fiction plots I've seen in video games, with some interesting things to say about the nature and importance of memory. Adding to all of this is the game's surreal visual style. The head-hopping narrative lends itself to some memorably bizarre imagery. Within Communions, 1000X Resist favors high-contrast visuals with vivid colors and heavy use of symbolism, mingled with more muted colors representing the past. It's all very striking and flows perfectly with the story.